What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, the Indianapolis Colts add to their defensive line. They signed veteran defensive end Ifedi Adenabo. So now the Colts have Ifedi Adenabo and Dio Adenabo both on the same roster, both playing defensive line. Thank you, Chris Ballard. But all jokes aside, Ifedi Adenabo, solid player. Overall, he is 28 years old, six foot three, 260 pounds, 32 and three quarter inch arms, 10 and a half inch hands. So a little bit of a longer kind of defensive end here. And Adenabo has been on a couple different teams overall through his career. So started off his first season in 2018 with the Arizona Cardinals, where he didn't really see a whole lot of action. Then the last two years, 2019 and 2020, he played for the Minnesota Vikings. And actually during that span, he actually had a really good run in 2019. He had seven sacks in total between his two seasons with Minnesota. Overall, he had 10 and a half sacks last year with the Cleveland Browns. Didn't really see a whole lot of action, had no sacks. But guys, this is just another nice rotational piece here for the Colts. I think, honestly, this player has a chance to compete for the 53-man roster. I think he's a solid player. Nothing spectacular, but he certainly has some traits that you like. And we all kind of felt like the Colts needed to potentially add maybe one more vet piece in there to their defensive end room with, you know, they have Dio Dangbo, they have, you know, Quiddy Pay, they have Yannick Ngakwe, they have Taekwon Lewis. Thought it'd be good just for roster competition as training camps coming up here very soon for the Colts to just add to that group. So they do here, add a guy here who, you know, has some starting experience in the league and, you know, could potentially compete for, you know, one of the final roster spots on this defensive line group. We shall see how that pans out. But guys, nonetheless, Colts do sign another guy, Chris Ballard. Man, he may, tries to make it hard for us podcasters and radio people. I tell you what, he seems like he's drafting and signing guys who whose last names are almost impossible unless you really try hard um, multiple times to pronounce. But, you know, all jokes aside, I think this is a solid addition for the Colts here. And uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this signing. Do you like it? It's a one-year deal. You know, I th- I look at it as a low risk, potentially decently high. You know, kind of return here, especially because you do look at that 2019 season. And you're like, okay, maybe he has a little bit of juice. You know, in terms of getting after the quarterback, if he does get some action there, we shall see. But guys, just let me know your thoughts on this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for all your support. I look forward to very more videos here very soon. I apologize for the lack of content recently. It's just been kind of a crazy season for both Derek and myself, but we're hoping to get some more content pumped out this week and in the weeks to follow. So thank you guys so much for everything that you do for us. And as always, guys, go Colts.